Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Raila Amolo Odinga has come out to deliver a bad news to William Ruto Rigadi Gashagwa. And the news of Raila Amolo Odinga is coming out to say that enough is enough, punda imechoka, na hata punda imeanguka. And the strategy they are going to use behind this kind of punitive government is that Raila Odinga is coming out to tell Kenyans this. Sasa, katingine sisi tulisema ati punda imechoka. Tulisema punda imechoka. Leo tunasema punda imeanguka. Mziku mzikuwa kubwa zaidi sasa punda imeanguka chini. Wakati tafika, hivu karibu inakuja, tuta ungea na wananchi. Lakini vili mbebejua tumekua tukisanya masahii kutoka kwa Kenya. Mahii tumesahisa tumesanya imesafika milioni kumi na zaidi. Sasa imetosha gari. Na tunajua yali kia ni mbae tutafanya na hiyo zusa hii. Mara hii ya hita kuwa tisiti na mbiwa na inchi warudi kwa barabara. Apana. Waka inchi wakirudi watarudi kwa mbambu ingini tupawiti kabisa. Sitaki kusema wakati huu. Manake nitakuwa mimi nimetoa maneno mapema. What is the purpose of 10 million signatures? At the time, he's telling William Ruto and his team that we are not going to talk about Mandamano again. We are not going to talk about Mandamano again. We are going to skin this cut in different way. And according to my opinion, I'm looking at this scenario where the Azimio team, they are likely preparing themselves to bring back the constitutional moment. And I know BBI was ashamed by the Kenya Kwanzaa government. At that time, they were in UDA. They came out saying, that the agenda of BBI was to benefit Uhuru Mge Kenyatta and Raila Amolo Dinga. And so now, it seems like this reggae is coming back in different way. And in different way is that, are we going to have a battle in constitution review? Because there is something, a call, that several leaders are coming out to call about a referendum. And if it is going to be a referendum, is William Ruto, when you look at that storm that might come when it comes to the constitutional moment and something that William Ruto does not want, is about the constitutional moment. He does not want. What William Ruto wants is a win-win situation, or rather a win-loss. If it is not a win-win situation where he is going to win and Raila Odinga winning, he doesn't want that Raila Odinga winning, he is losing. It is either way, he win, Raila Odinga to lose, or a win-win situation. But now, the language that Raila Odinga is talking about, when it comes to Mandaman, I believe that Mandamano Azimio has come out to close it. But they are going to come back in different way. Number one, maybe now they are going to initiate a something called People's Initiate. Or rather, a process where it is the people who are deciding 
not the leaders. So that let not anyone go to court and say that it is the Railo Dinga's property. And this is going to be issue that entails constitution. We just wait and see. Or maybe we don't know whatever Railo Dinga's plan. Let us not overthink. But the message that we've gotten today clear. Anyone expecting kuamuka subui kuenda kufisi kupanga vile watafurusha maandamano hiyo iishe hiyo imeisha hiyo imeisha hadi sasa rigadi angoje sasa atakuwa anaamukia mapema asubuhi kwa ofisi kupanga kuhakikisha kwamba hakuna maandamano hiyo sasa imeisha hakuna maandamano tena na kwamba wanakuja tofauti na vile walikuwa wanakuja and in any case and I want to tell you, and I said it here in a certain video. If you want Railo Dinga to play a good play, give him the issues of the constitution moment. He will do it. He will deliver it. That is how Raila Amuru Dinga is. He will deliver. Without any fear of contradiction. He will deliver. But in any case, in any case, this is not going to succeed. Then what is the purpose of having a government that is not considering the issues of the people? At the same time, if people are complaining, they are saying, oh, musi complain, oh, hata Uganda maisha ningumu, hata Tanzania maisha ningumu. Wale yambiwa wakati wa kampena, wale kata, na uru mgeke nyata, ile ishu ya Ukraine na Russia. Wakasema kwamba, Russia and Ukraine does not affect the issue of fuel in the country. That is what they said. And now, what happened? If truly we are asking sincere question, what happened? Because I'm so, so curious. So curious. On how some issues are being handled. With the Kenya Kwanza. Ukiona dini situmbi, akipanga. Ile maishu ya kudefend na serikali ya William Ruto utashanga. So, I think this message is going to leave the Kenya Kwanza government into dilemma. Is Azimio going for that direction of constitution, amendment of constitution? Which when look at Kenya Kwanza, they don't want any kind of talk about constitution. Wewe wangali, awataki, they don't want any issue that entails constitution. Look at the constitution moment. I think it was 2007. Two, two, two zero zero a constitutional moment. And that is the time where Railo Dinga also had a storm when it comes to his politics. Na alikuja vizuri. Muna kumbuka referendum ya ndizi na chungwa. Yes, that is how things are. Na William Ruta anajua hataki. Anajua kwamba ataenda loose. Kwa sababu ground imekata. Itaumana. And that is whatever is happening. That is whatever is happening. That is whatever is ha happening. So how can Raila hata kwanza wangeacha manene ya dialogue? Let them live dialogue. Let them deal with the Kenya kwanza government. Sakafoniously. Thoroughly. Until the gonna hear and listen to the people of Kenya. And because the other time they came out stopping BBI, let the process that might come be a process that is going to be as per the law. Hata wakienda kutini wanazibu, wakienda kutini wanazibu, wana process inaendelea. Wakifungua machu hivi, oh, dialogue, hakuna hapo. Wataita dialogue, oh, hakuna dialogue. This is now the issue of people. Ladies and gentlemen, what are those? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your support. Please consider subscribing liking, commenting, and sharing this video.